Good morning. My name is Sherry LeBay and I'm the Secretary of the Department of Transportation and Development. Joining me today are safety partners in our Destination Zero Deaths Initiative. Wes Bollinger, Division Administrator of the Federal Highway Administration, Colonel Mike Edmondson, Superintendent of Louisiana State Police, and Lieutenant Colonel John LeBlanc, Executive Director of the Louisiana Highway Safety Commission. Also joining me today are members of our Joint Legislative Committee on Transportation. We are all here today with one common goal, to stress to you the importance of driving safely through work zones in an effort to reduce the number of injuries and fatalities that occur on Louisiana's roadways. There's a cone memorial in the front lawn of DOTD headquarters building. Each cone in the memorial represents one of the 667 people, motorists and construction workers nationwide who lost their lives in work zones in 2009. The 16 orange cones you see here today represent the deaths which occurred in Louisiana. In addition, 735 injuries occurred in Louisiana work zones in 2009 and a total of 278 people have died from motor vehicle crashes in Louisiana's work zones since 1989. This marks a significant decrease in fatalities from 2008, 53 fewer nationwide and six fewer statewide. However, one fatality is too many. It is for this reason that Governor Bobby Jindal has declared April 4th through the 8th as Work Zone Awareness Week in Louisiana with the goal of reminding drivers how important it is to keep highway workers themselves and their passengers safe. The theme of Work Zone Awareness Week is a vested interest in safety. Louisiana maintains more than 16,600 miles of roadway, including over 890 miles of interstate. With an investment of over $3.6 billion in construction projects since Governor Jindal took office and the potential to begin $1 billion in projects within the upcoming fiscal year, this means drivers will continue to see an abundance of work zones on our roadways. Though this provides more challenges for motorists, it is also a sign of progress for Louisiana's infrastructure, which directly benefits all citizens. DOTD is constantly looking to improve and enhance our roadways through the installation of various safety features, including rumble strips, roundabouts, and cable median barriers. Other safety initiatives include the new safety assessment program and partnering with the Louisiana State Police and the Louisiana Highway Safety Commission to promote the strategic highway safety plan, Destination Zero Deaths. I urge drivers to stay alert and give full attention to the roadway. Pay close attention to signs and work zone flaggers. Obey posted speed limits. Avoid tailgating. Do not drink and drive. Wear your seatbelt and put down the cell phone. Lastly, respect the men and women in construction who work on the highway each day to improve safety and transportation for the citizens of Louisiana. To learn more about Louisiana Highway Safety Plan and how the speakers you see here today are working to reduce the number of fatalities of Louisiana's roadways, visit the Destination Zero Deaths website at www.destinationzerodeaths.com. Thank you so much for being here today, and I would like West Bollinger Division Administration of Federal Highway Administration, Louisiana Division, to say a few words. Good morning. It is also National Work Zone Safety uh, Week on a national level, uh, but we're here today to uh, assist in increasing the, the, uh, to the public the awareness of work zone safety and what it takes to maneuver work zones as construction is being built on our highways. I want to provide you some national statistics 
Safety on America highways is at a record level. Work zone fatalities are down over 40% since a high of 1,186 in, in 2002. But in 2009, there were still 667 people killed and over 30,000 people who sustained injuries on our nation's highways as a result of accidents and work zones. Uh, this equates to nearly two people being killed and, and 84 injured every day as a result of an accident in a work zone. So that being known, it also another national statistics is nine, out of, nine of every 10 people killed in a work zone are the drivers or the vehicles themselves and not the workers out on the road. So I urge drivers to do the following as you enter a work zone. Slow down, do not exceed the speed limits. Avoid distractions such as cell phones or texting. Pay attention to the vehicles uh, ahead of you. And simple things like this may uh, make the difference between life and death. Crashes and congestion can be avoided if drivers in work zones remember this year's National Work Zone Awareness Week theme. Drivers, safer driving, safer work zones for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Wes. And now I'd like to introduce Colonel Michael Edmondson, Superintendent, Louisiana State Police. Thank you, Secretary Lavoie, for your dedication to safety and, and, and making public number one within the Department of Transportation and Development. Also, I'm pretty proud to stand uh, with me today, members of our Louisiana legislature, who not just by their words, but by their actions, are dedicated to making this a priority within Louisiana, both in the House of Representatives and the Louisiana Senate, uh, to make sure that this is a priority as far as public safety and dedication uh, for what we do every day in the Department of Transportation to make our highway safe. You know, as I was driving here this morning, I had a chance to pause at a red light in front of DOTD headquarters. I was there the first time in 1989 where they laid these, these cones down to represent individuals. And as I paused and thought about it, and it's nice to see these, these cones have, have certainly dwindled down to a smaller number, but I agree with Secretary LeBaugh, one is one too many. But to sit there and see those and to pause for a minute and think about it as I travel around the state, I can put a personal picture to that. I can think of a crash. I can think of an injury that I personally saw in people, a face as I look at these cones that made a difference to where we, a, a, a crash was occurred in, in a safety zone, in a work zone within Louisiana. It's one too many. The Louisiana State Police is proud to partner as they have since the beginning with DOTD in making it a priority to tell people it's about proactive enforcement. It's about proactive safety. It's about the public stepping forward and helping us to drive cautiously and safely in these work zones. You know, as I pass through and I think about the, the faces of the ones that, that, that were that were still there after these crashes in these work zones and to see the look on their face that it could have been them. And, and to think about that as a law enforcement officer with 31 years of experience with Louisiana State Police, I couldn't be any more dedicated today to stand with Secretary LeBaugh and our friends in the legislature to tell you that this is a priority to get these, these cones down to zero. Thank you all. Thank you, Colonel Edmondson. Next, Lieutenant Colonel John LeBlanc, Executive Director, Louisiana Highway Commission, Safety Commission. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Uh, I also was looking at the cones when I came by this morning at DOTD, and uh, I remember in 1998, when, when uh, at the time when I was with State Police, one of our own, Trooper Hung Lee, was working a construction zone on I-55, May of that year, a van failed to merge, hit his unit from behind, pushed him into a construction truck, it burst into flames, some motorists and passerbyers pulled his burning body out. Thirty days later, he died at a hospital in Texas. He was 29 years old. He had only been on the job about a year, a year and a half. When I looked at the cones, I, I realized that every one of those cones has their own personal and tragic story along with the family members that were left behind. And, and I ask myself, who's responsible for all this? Well, there's no one individual or, or entity. We all have a shared responsibility. The police, the courts, uh, public safety agencies, all of us need to help get that message out 
and to increase awareness to try to reduce those fatalities. Uh, the Highway Safety Commission is proud to join our safety partners and also our legislators in making this awareness increase. Thank you. Just want to again thank you all for being here today. Thank you uh, for the partnership that we have. Um, it certainly is making a difference in safety here in Louisiana and we will continue to strive to reduce the numbers to destination zero. So thank you again for your support, uh, the legislature for their support and funding for transportation and safety on our roadways and appreciate you being here. Thank you. One death is too many. This past year, and well, in 2009, we experienced 16 deaths in our construction zones. That's construction workers and the motoring public, and one is too many. Our, our target is destination zero, zero deaths. What would you like uh, motorists to do, not only during this week, but 52 weeks of the year? 52 weeks out of the year. The motorists need to stay alert when they're driving, wear their seat belts, don't use their cell phones, go the speed limit in a construction zone, be aware of the other motorists around them, and drive safely through the construction zones. It's a responsibility of, uh, of the motoring public, the police, the courts, um, construction workers, engineers, all of us share a responsibility to make these work zones as safe as possible. So we'd like to have the motorists have an increased awareness of that, and when they go through these work zones, please drive safely and be alert. What are the enforcement penalties for drivers that are caught uh, speeding in work zones? Well, a lot of people don't realize that in, in, in a, uh, uh, with a speeding or, or traffic offense, the, the fines are doubled. And you know what? They ought to be tripled. Because what you do is you, you, you actually make a, 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 what's called a safe zone by putting these cones out uh, in, in work areas, by putting police and, and, and lights out in there that, that shows you something's happening in front of you. But people choose not to slow down. People choose to disregard what's in front of them and, and, and tragedy happens, injuries and, and ultimately death and some, some things. So people need to understand that the fines are doubled and, and you know what, in aggravated circumstances you can go to jail. And I think that's the message the public needs to see out there. Slow down those areas and, and, and just take your time. You're going to get where you're going, but you know what, if you get stopped by a police officer, you're just going to take that much longer to get there. Why not take your time, be cautious, be respectful of the people around you uh, when you go through these work zones throughout Louisiana. We're trying to make our highways better. You can help us. They need to go to www.destinationzerodeaths.com for more information on driving through construction zones.